Hi guys, uh, welcome to our next video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about tax, tip, discount, and commission. And we're still going to be using our same percent proportions that we've been working on the past couple days. Um, just to kind of go over some vocabulary in case you guys don't know what it is or haven't heard it before. Tax, we're talking about sales tax. You guys all know what that is, I think. Your parents, every time they go to the store, whatever they buy, they have to add sales tax to it, which is a percentage of what they pay. So this is um, adding on to what you pay. A tip is when you go out to eat and you pay that little bit of extra to the person that's um, serving you and doing good service. So this is also something that we're going to add on. Um, and then we have a discount. We all like discounts. Discount is when you go to the store and something's 25% off, 30% off, 80% off. You find that discount and you subtract it. And then finally, something you guys may not have heard before is commission. Commission is something um, having to do with work and money that you make. So commission is basically saying that they will give you a percentage of an amount of money that you sell for them. And we'll talk more about that when we come into the problem. So just remember, tax is adding, tip is adding, commission is adding, and discount is subtracting. All right, we're going to do example one. It says, what is the total price of a $17.75 soccer ball if the sales tax is 6%? Okay, a couple things to remember. If we're talking about sales tax, remember this means addition. means we're going to add it back on to what we've already paid. So we're going to pay the $17.75. We're going to find out what 6% of that is, and then we're going to add it back. So same thing we've been doing. Our percent proportions, we're going to do our part and our whole is equal to our percent over 100. So based on our problem, we already know that our percent is 6%, so that would be 6 over 100. And then our whole amount, remember, is the $17.75, is how much we're paying for the soccer ball. And then we're trying to find the part, the 6% of it, so this is going to be our variable Rn. So just like we did the last couple videos, you're going to do cross multiplication. So n times 100 is 100n, and then 17.75 times 6 is 106.5. And then from here, we're going to do our division, divide by 100. Okay, and we all know this is going to be 1, and when you divide a number by 100, remember all you're going to do is move the decimal point over two times. So this would give us n equals 1.065. Okay, now something to remember here is that we're talking about money. So when we're doing our money, remember we have to round to the nearest hundredth here. So that 1.065 would round to n equals $1.0. Seven cents. Okay, so now are we done yet? No, we're not because remember, this is just telling us how much tax we're going to pay. But since we're paying the seventeen dollars and seventy-five cents, we have to take this amount and we have to add it. So we're going to take the seventeen dollars and seventy-five cents, and we're going to add the one dollar and seven cents, and that means that we're going to pay a total of eighteen dollars and 82 cents for our soccer ball. All right, so here is example two. You should have worked the entire problem out. Just to make sure that you're understanding that when you have a tip, remember you're gonna add, so that's the first thing that you need to ask yourself. So you set it up, um, figuring out what your percent is, what your part and your whole are. Once you did all the work, you should have come up with n was equal to $1, actually 1 1.385, which we're going to round to $1.39 because we always round to 100. And remember, this is the tip. So we're going to take that and we're going to add it back to $13.25. And so that means that your total amount that you've paid when you went out to eat was $14.64. All right, guys, we're on to example three. It says, find the price of a $69.50 tennis racket that is on sale for 20% off. So first thing you have to ask yourself when you're reading this question is that are they asking us to tack something on or take it off? So we're talking about something that's on sale and it's 20% off. So that means that when we're all said and done, we're going to subtract. We're going to take it off. So this means subtract. 
Okay? And just like we've done in every other single problem, is we're going to set up our word ratio. So we have our part and our whole equals our percent over work 100. Um, we have our percent. Our percent is 20%. So we know automatically that that is 20 over 100. And our whole amount is going to be the whole that we are going to pay. We're going to we're talking about finding the 20% of the $69.50. So that is our whole amount. And we want to find out what 20% of that is. So that is going to be our variable of n. Okay, this looks familiar. Everything else we've always uh, done. We're going to take this and we're going to do our cross multiplication. So we have n times 100, which is 100n. Okay, and then we have $69.50 times 20, which is... 1390. So we're left with 100n equals 1390. We're going to divide each side by 100. Right? 100 over 100 cancels out and gives us 1, so we're left with n. And then again, when you divide something by 100, all we're going to do is move the decimal place two times, so we're left with 1390. Remember, we're talking about money. So this is our discount. Okay, so we're going to take this amount and we need to subtract it from our total amount. So we started with $69.50, and we're going to subtract our discount of $13.50. So now we're going to find out how much money are we going to pay for the tennis racket. Okay, so that means when you go up to the cash register, you're going to fork out 56 bucks for the tennis racket. Here's a solution to example number four. Remember, we're talking about a book that is discounted by 5%. So when you see the word discount, you know to subtract. So we do our percent proportion, finding out 5% of $16.99. Once you set it up, do your cross multiplication, you should have gotten n equals 0.8495. And again, we're going to round it to the nearest hundredth because we're talking about money. So it's 85 cents. And again, remember, discount. So discount, you're going to subtract. So when you take your $16.99, subtract $0.85, cents, you should come up with $16.14 for that book. All right, we're going to do example number five. I've written the, key, written the key points up on the board. This is the problem. It says Cindy makes a monthly salary of $5,000 plus an 11% commission based on her monthly sales. If Cindy's sales for the month are $4,800, how much did she earn that month. So I want you guys to remember that a salary is how much they get when they walk in the door, no matter how much they sell, right? Like I, we all get paid salaries for coming to work every day. Then they get paid commission, which is like the guys that work at furniture stores or sell cars. They make a percentage based on what they sell. And then this is how much she sold in the month. So first of all, we need to find out what are we looking for here? We want to know how much commission she made. So we're still going to do our same thing. We're doing our part over our whole and then our percent over 100. Okay, our percent that we're looking for is the 11 percent, so we've got 11 over 100. The whole amount are, are her monthly sales. She sold $4,800 and we want to know what percent of that is 11 percent. So this is going to be our variable. Okay, so then we're going to do our cross multiplication. We have 100n okay, is equal to 52,800. Then when we get here, same thing, we're going to multiply, I'm sorry, divide by 100. Right? Our 100s cancel out to get 1, so we get n equals 52,800 divided by 100 is 528. So this means that she is getting paid an extra $528 on top of her salary of $5,000. So we're going to take her salary of $5,000 and we're going to add her commission which is $528. So that means that in total for the month she made 5,000 excuse me $5,528. Okay don't forget commission you're always going to add back to the salary. Alright, here's the solution to number six. 
Remember, Jim, he makes a weekly salary of a dollar, I'm sorry, of a hundred dollars and twenty-five cents, and that's wrong too. He makes one hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Keep on recording. He makes a hundred dollars and twenty <laughs> He makes one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Sorry guys, it's been a long night. 125 bucks a week he makes. On that, he makes a commission of 5.5% <laughs> based on his weekly sale, and his weekly sales were $985. So we set up our percent proportion. We know that it's 5.5%, so that's 5.5 out of 100. His total sales are $985. You do your cross multiplication, and you come up with N is equal to 54.175 which again, we round because we're talking about money. So that means on top of his $125 that he makes every week, he also made $54.18 based on his commission of 5.5%. So therefore, his check is a whopping $179.18.